So I've been thinking about it, and I realized what every woman wants. Mr. Darcy. Mr. Darcy is the misunderstood, socially awkward, but deeply benevolent and passionately romantic love interest from Jane Austen's Pride and Prejudice. I'm going to test my theory by becoming Mr. Darcy and seeing how my wife responds. The tricky thing is, following Jane Austen's romantic comedy formula, Mr. Darcy must first come across as self-absorbed and rude before his female counterpart realizes that he's really gentle and sweet. Thus, my first objective is to be horribly offensive. Let's see how it goes. Ahem. <clears throat> hey, babe. Why are you dressed like George Washington? Is that camera on? You are tolerable, I suppose, but you are not handsome enough to tempt me. Rude. I am not ashamed of the feelings I related. They were natural and just. You can leave now. My good opinion, once lost, is lost forever. Go away. I've done everything in my power to separate my friend from your sister, and I rejoice in my success. What are you talking about? Did you expect me to rejoice in the inferiority of your connections? To congratulate myself on the hope of relations whose conditions in life are so decidedly below my own? This better not be going on the internet. There are few people whom I really love, and still fewer of whom I think well. The more I see of the world, the more I am dissatisfied with it. You can stuff your lacy cravat in your face. So far, so good. The next step, according to Jane Austen, is to toy with her emotions by expressing my love for her in as confusing a manner as possible. In vain I have struggled. It will not do. My feelings will not be repressed. You must allow me to tell you how ardently I admire and love you. In declaring myself thus, I'm fully aware that I will be going expressly against the wishes of my family, my friends, and I hardly need add my own better judgment. I think that went well. Next in Jane's formula, my wife needs to learn the truth about my benevolent nature and great acts of charity. I found this cat at the top branch of a 50-foot tree. I thought you would like it. Get that thing out of my face! Now that my wife's feelings for me have evolved and she's no doubt suffering from the unkind things she said while misjudging my character, Jane's final step is for me to melt her heart with a completely vulnerable and final reiteration of my love. Ideally in a romantic setting such as falling water. You are too generous to trifle with me. If your feelings are still what they were, tell me so at once. My affections and wishes are unchanged, but one word from you will silence me on this subject forever. If I say that I love you, will you leave me alone? Yes. Okay. I love you. Mission success. And there you have it. How to woo women like a pro. If you want more expert relationship advice, don't forget to subscribe.